morning you guys from the bathroom <laughs> i never start these vlogs in my bathroom and also welcome back to a vlog because i have been doing sit down videos quite a bit these past few videos so i'm happy to be vlogging today um my hair looks kind of crazy i just got out of the shower and it was kind of like an eclipse so please don't mind that um today we're having a very gloomy sunday and we're just gonna like enjoy and i thought i would bring you guys along it is currently eight o'clock and i'm just getting somewhat ready because we're gonna head out to get some starbucks this morning we need to go get some pumpkin spice lattes but first off we need to take care of this and i did get a few products yesterday from sephora and i thought i would share with you guys the things that i got so let me show you so first off i got this heat protectant spray from way that smells incredible i have not been using heat protectant for so long i wasn't putting heat on my hair regularly so it's not like that big of a deal but still i really really needed to get a good heat protecting spray and i wanted to try the one from way because all of my other products are way now the other thing is as i mentioned like my september recap video is like i really want to prioritize my hair care routine so i have been putting oil on my hair almost every every single day at least when i remember and i'm running out of my gizu hair oil so i went to get more but i ended up getting the way hair oil because so i was like why not try a different one the gizu did wonders for my hair but i kind of want to try a new one and then if this one doesn't work out then i can just go back to gizu not a big deal but honestly it makes my hair so soft i used it yesterday and i'm gonna use it today again um then i went to get some like face products as well and i got this like these little toner pads from tula and honestly i used it yesterday and i really really liked it i actually have to use it on my skin like right now basically you open it and you have little pads like this in here and honestly they're they're really really small and i actually find them kind of hard to take out but we figure it out this is how small it is and i just do like my t-zone because i was talking with one of the girls and she's like you don't actually need to put it like everywhere on your face you just need to do like your t-zone so that's what you do because she's like it's gonna dry out your other parts of your face that are not as greasy and for me my t-zone is typically where it's really greasy my pores are like huge you really really see them it's not flattering at all um so yeah i just put it on my t-zone and she's like if you have any sort of like pimples as well and i have one like right here on my chin she like put it on that it's gonna dry it out so i'm like perfect and i did last night and it dried out so i'm like this is great i mean it's obviously still there it doesn't like disappear from like one day to another but it did dry out quite a bit so i'm expecting that like probably by tomorrow it most likely won't be there anymore but yeah i i actually kind of like these pads so i'm happy i got them and by the way if you guys didn't know at sephora if you buy something you have like 30 days to return it even if you've used it as long as it's like 80% still full so just thought I would let you guys know because I did not know that and I swear I lost so much money at Sephora from not knowing that so very very happy that I do know that now I'm gonna let that sink into my skin also another thing that I do is I dry my skin off with like a squat towel I don't dry it off with my towel because towels have like so many germs in them and I've noticed such a difference from doing like the scott towels over my towel sometimes um like when we've gone to hotels and stuff like that i've had to use towels and i could tell that my skin would break out so yeah try this if you think that your skin is breaking out like just try swapping out drying your face off with your towel and dry it off with like a scott towel i swear it is a game changer okay so i just put heat protectant spray just before i started vlogging and i was just letting it dry into my hair but i'm actually gonna just like straighten my hair a little bit today it's not gonna be anything crazy just because we're going to starbucks and i kind of want to look put together so i'm gonna straighten my hair and my hair was curled last night so it's kind of like a mess this morning well actually not really <laughs> It just needs to like, it needs a little love. That's all it needs. Other than like these two products that I just showed you, as I mentioned, my whole hair care routine is all whey products. So I've got the whey detox shampoo. I've got their shampoo, conditioner, their hair mask, which honestly, you guys, the hair mask is a game changer. It is so freaking good. Like, I've been using Olaplex for so long, and I love doing my little Olaplex bun and just having it in my hair for an hour, but 
having the Olaplex bun in my hair for an hour didn't do what having the way mask in my hair for 10 minutes in the shower does to my hair now that might just be because of like my hair being so used to the way products or to the Olaplex products that I just needed to like switch it up and I'm not bashing Olaplex whatsoever I use them for so long and I absolutely love them but your hair does need some change at a certain point it does get used to the products that you put on it so I think that's where I was at this point with, with Olaplex so I'm not saying I'm never gonna go back but I'm very happy with the switch that I made so I'm just gonna straighten a little bit of my hair I've been putting heat on it like when it comes to the weekend I feel like I put so much heat on my hair non-intentionally it's just like we have we have things planned and I just end up doing my hair every single day so and I've been loving curling my hair and when I sleep on my curls I have to redo them the next day so yeah I'm just gonna do very light straightener and then we're gonna finish the skincare I just feel like the um the toner needs a little bit more time to just set into my face so i did my hair like i said i'm not trying to get it like super perfect and it was mostly straight so i'm just gonna let it like cool down a little bit and we're gonna finish our skincare routine i'm gonna just put my hair behind like this and i'm gonna wash my hands and i dry it off with the scott towel as well next i use this hyaluronic um Hy hydrating hydrating serum with hyaluronic acid from CeraVe that I've had for a while now. I really need to get it, like I really need to finish this bottle because I've had it for so long. But at the same time, I really do think that I'm gonna repurchase because I feel like my skin's been doing great with this product. Again, like your skin is also like your hair where at a certain point you do need to change and if you don't i'm jealous of you but for my skin with the seasons and everything sometimes i just need to change out products which is why i wasn't really using my cerave serum anymore because like my skin was just not my skin was just not having it with it anymore but i've started using it recently and my skin's been loving it so but i don't know how old the bottle is so i do know that i'm gonna have to switch that out soon finish it and get a new one voila and then I use this um, normal to oily skin pure active scream cream by GM Colin that I get from my esthetician. I was actually thinking about switching out this cream and just getting something from Sephora and I talked to a girl yesterday when I got all of these products and she had some great recommendations so very excited to like finish out this cream and try a new one. Cause I honestly love this cream. It's been doing like wonders for my skin. I feel like I always have to like go really out of my way to go get it because my esthetician's like office or like place is just really far from where I live. It's not that bad, but if I can just go to Sephora and get all my products, like I would just prefer that. And then I try to bring some down my neck, like whatever leftover I have. I know it's very, very good to bring your cream down your neck. This is like my skincare and then some Laneige lip mask on my lips I love how like glowy your lips look after this it looks like you're wearing lip gloss but you're really not so my Laneige lip mask I got one last year on my birthday it was like the birthday gift I think that I got or no I just bought myself one I bought myself one and then I got um, another one in my birthday gift which was like a berry flavored and i had bought myself the vanilla one finished it like in, in the summer so i got it like in november finished it beginning of summer end of spring and then i used the other one all summer and i just recently got a new one of the vanilla one so i'm really excited to have my vanilla back in the fall i think like it's so appropriate so very happy about that now i'm gonna do hair oil now the one thing that i've noticed with this container is that the oil kind of like spits out so you have to like just be ready to catch it so i just got some in my hands so as you can tell my hands are kind of oily and then we'll just put them in the ends because our hair gets really really dry especially when we put heat on it even if we have a heat protectant i love putting oil last night i put so much oil on my hair like not too much but just like enough that i felt like my hair was really hydrated before i went to bed also i sleep on a silk 
and I feel like that's done wonders for my hair and my skin as well again like I had to switch my pillowcase at some case at some point and use my old pillowcase which is a bamboo pillowcase and I feel like my face broke out maybe from just being used to sleeping on the silk pillowcase but anyways so technically that is my full like skincare hair care routine however I do put like sunscreen but I don't put it right now because the glow sunscreen from super goop when I put it on my skin Ever since I've started using the hyaluronic acid from CeraVe, it like peels when I put the, the sunscreen. So I wait a little bit, make sure that all the product is absorbed in my skin, and then I put my sunscreen. So I'm not going to do that right now, but typically I do the super goop at some point. Anyways, that was like my skincare routine. Also, I need to show you guys this. I got this new scrub from tula it's the deep exfoliating blackhead scrub and honestly it was great on my skin my skin felt so soft afterwards and yeah i definitely recommend you guys try it out i was trying like the sugar scrub i'm almost done that one but i tried this one last night because i felt like my skin needed it and i love it i think i'm not gonna go back to the scrub like the sugar scrub one i like this one like the blackhead ones so this to take the blackheads out, this to like tighten my pores. It's just a perfect combo. Anyways, I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna head to Starbucks to get some coffee, like right now. Okay, today's OOTD. I've got this romper from Aritzia, my quarter zip from Harvard, and then white sneakers, my Air Force ones, my go-to. And we're headed to Starbucks to get some pumpkin spice lattes. And honestly, you guys, I love my quarter zip from Harvard, but I don't want to be wearing the same thing every single day because it's my favorite. Like, it's quite honestly my favorite. So I think I'm going to have to get, like, other quarter zips from, like, Aritzia in different colors. You guys, this is a new record at Starbucks. There's only one car in front of us. Like, what? I think he's done. He's done, so it's our turn. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Okay, so we've already ordered and we've been here for a minute and this is perfect because Alex actually has a class this morning. He's starting a university class. You guys know he's still in university. He hasn't graduated yet, but he's doing a weekend class this session, semester, whatever you want to call it. Us, it's a session, so whatever. Um, and he starts at 9 and it is currently 8 30 and I was like oh my god like we're so late like if there's a whole bunch of cars I don't want him to get late for his class and he won't be getting there late so that's just great we got the Starbucks so I do a grande pumpkin spice latte with oat milk and Alex does regular milk and I'm really excited to go home and drink them just, mm, I love fall I love pumpkin spice lattes I just, I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. Okay, so while Alex gets started with his class, um, he technically has class until five. It's five weekends in a row, except for like Thanksgiving, which is in October in Canada. So it's technically six weekends long, but only five. Do you guys understand what I mean? Like there's one weekend that's gonna be off. He's gonna do like two or three weekends off then two last weekends. Anyways, while he gets set up for his class and he's gonna be there until five tonight, I'm gonna just like, chill a little bit this morning i want to go through like some videos that i've planned um tiktok content that i want to post as well um and then figure out a few things i'm just gonna go through that a little bit and then i want to tidy up just a little bit the apartment and then um we'll see where the day takes us right now there's literally sun outside and i'm kind of annoyed if i'm being honest i was looking forward to my rainy day but i do think it's gonna start raining this afternoon and it's gonna be gloomy rainy it's gonna be perfect we actually have a show that we watched that starts tonight it started like a week ago but a week ago and like the episodes this week from the show were all like behind the scenes before like the official first episode so i'm very very excited to watch the first official episode it's called occupation Double. it is a quebec show very excited that that is starting up again they do this show every single fall and it's just part of like our fall routine you know because they have an episode on sunday night like a one hour or an hour and a half long episode on sunday nights and then 30 minute episodes or like 20 minute episodes 
Monday through Thursday. So it's just so much fun. It becomes part of our fall routine. So yeah, we've got that tonight and I'm gonna order Chinese for our first, um, for our first episode. Also, since it's gloomy and I've been wanting Chinese, so I feel like it's just appropriate. But right now, I'm gonna sit on the couch, go through some content stuff, and then we'll see where the day takes us. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get to stay. Cause I gotta like that. Always have my own bag, never needed no man to rely on. Got too good. Okay, so I was just going through my calendar for like my September videos that I've planned out and I just realized that like well this video is gonna go up this week and then I'm gonna do a haul for either my next video depending on if everything has arrived by then or the one after that and then there's only like two other videos left so I'm doing two videos a week Tuesdays and Fridays and I've got this Tuesday this Friday and then next Tuesday and next Friday and then we're done the month of September which seems surreal to me. I cannot, like, I I cannot accept that, what, September is already over? Like, what is going on? Like, this is crazy. Like, I cannot believe we're already this far, like, into September. Anyways, just like, what was going through my mind because I was just, I was thinking this is so crazy that, because I've already got these two videos planned, I only have to plan two more videos for the month, which is so crazy to me, but anyways. Um, yeah, like crazy. What is up you guys? It is quite a while later. It's already, I think like five, but I ended up like doing a little bit of tidying up. We did some laundry. The couch is like all fluffed. Well, except for the fact that like I have cats on it, but I fluffed it. I did the vacuum on it because it gets a lot of, cat's ha of cat hairs on it, especially with our cats sleeping on the cushions and then I emptied the dishwasher cleaned the kitchen like I did a few little things I wasn't able to vacuum the whole apartment because the vacuum died while I was doing the cushions but that's fine I have tomorrow because I'm not working tomorrow um, to do the vacuum so that's what we're gonna do and we just ordered Chinese that we're gonna go pick up at six o'clock we would have ordered in but we're just like we don't mind going out we didn't really go out today except we went to Starbucks we're just gonna drive to the place and we're like saving on shipping or like just like fees for ordering in so we're just gonna go pick it up ourselves and then we're gonna watch that show that i told you guys that the first episode is starting tonight so i'm so excited i also got like a tiktok up i went through my list of tiktoks that i want to do um during the rest of the month and then for next month as well and i planned out my next month of content so i'm very very happy about that we made it out. We're going to pick up our food. It is 5.48. We left a little bit later than we were supposed to, but that's fine. We're gonna get there, get our food, and then come back home, and I'm so excited. Like, I've talked all day about this show, but I've also been thinking about it since the day that it ended last year. Like, I am so excited for it to start again, and we get episodes every night of the week. Well, like, Monday through Thursday, which is amazing. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. Like, not every show does that, so I like really appreciate that you get a really long episode on Sunday and then short episodes Monday through Thursday. So anyways, we're heading to get our food. I am so excited. I've been craving wonton soup for like so long now. So I'm very excited to have that for dinner today, tonight. Anyways, I got the food and it smells really, really good. All right, we've got all of our food. So we've got our wonton soups, some general tau chicken chicken fried rice and then chicken balls with the little red sauce that i forget and then obviously fortune cookies and we're just waiting to watch our show live it's not available yet it only starts at 6 30 like on the dot so we're waiting for that but yeah i think we're gonna eat and that's gonna be it for today i might pick up the vlog tomorrow morning so we'll see but for tonight that's gonna be it and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning bye guys what is up you guys it is a few days later i'm currently editing this vlog and i never picked up the camera on monday because i ended up filming a different video i filmed a what i eat in a day so that should be up soon um also sorry about the late upload i just really wasn't feeling well yesterday i just didn't want to edit i didn't want to spend any time in front of my computer 
so it is one day late on the vlogs so i do apologize not that you guys care but just gonna throw that in here so yeah never picked up the camera back but i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i had so much fun filming it even editing it i thought it was such a fun vlog personally on my end this is the kind of videos that i would watch so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below for all of the fall content i'm very excited for this weekend we're doing a few fall things so be on the lookout for that vlog but anyways i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye if i gotta choose me i won't be afraid to if i gotta choose me i gotta do what i gotta do when i love you i lose